What's going on, horror fam? My name is Johnny, and I support horror. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Just so you know, we try to keep it fun here. Uh, I never reveal any major spoilers for any of the movie reviews that I do. Uh, just share my love for horror movies, and I want to tell you what I think about them. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you hit that subscribe button now and turn on your alerts so you don't miss any of this kick-ass content. <laughs> All right, now that that's out of the way, I want to talk about a smash hit horror movie right now that everyone's talking about on Shudder called Host. It was shot entirely on Zoom during this coronavirus pandemic, only 56 minutes in length. A movie like this can either hit or miss, so let's dig in and see if this had the horror chops I was hoping for. Host is a horror movie written and directed by Rob Savage. Gemma Hurley and Jed Shepard were on the writing team as well. The storyline is short and simple. Six friends hop on a Zoom call together with a medium to perform a seance in hopes of contacting the dead. What could go wrong, right? Well, it does. It goes to shit when a certain friend disrespects the power of the seance and lets an unknown entity in their circle. Now, this night of spooky but harmless fun turns into a frick in nightmare as our characters have to battle a pissed off entity which they can't even see. Okay, now before you even watch this movie, before you hit play, I really recommend you watching this on a laptop and having uh, some earbuds in for sound. I should say earbuds are fine, but if you have those huge headphones, you know, that, that cover your entire ears, like the noise canceling ones that just gives you that gut busting sound. I recommend you listening with those. I've watched this movie twice so far, once on a laptop and once on a big TV. And I highly recommend you watching on the laptop because you just get immersed in the experience better. The whole movie takes place on Zoom. So if you're watching on your laptop, you just feel like you're a part of their world the entire time. By doing that, you are no longer an observer. You are more like a participant. So watching on a TV is just fine. I just found that watching on a laptop is more fun. Fun fact about Host is that this movie started out as a prank back in April from director Rob Savage. Because of lockdown hitting from coronavirus, productions were shut down. So Rob was kind of out of work, just like all of his actor friends. So one day Rob organized a Zoom call with a bunch of his friends and decided to prank them all by uh, investigating a strange noise in his home, which led to just scaring the crap out of everyone. You can watch the video on Rob's Twitter, but I will put a link to it below in the description. Oh, and one more fun fact. This entire movie was conceived, shot, and edited all in just 12 short weeks. I just thought that was so impressive with how good this movie turned out. But now let me dive in and tell you why I think this movie really packed a punch. For one, even before anyone jumps on a Zoom call, we see one of our main characters, Haley, just very visually nervous about something. You can see it in her face and in her actions and how how she talks to her friends as they start joining the call. So there's this immediate nervous tension right away. And let's talk about the realism here. I mean, this whole movie just felt very authentic. The performances by our actors and how they seamlessly interacted with one another just felt like there wasn't even a script at all. It was like I was watching and immersed within this Zoom call and I was part of the seance that they were about to do. Oh, and the woman that played the medium in this movie, Salen, she was excellent. Excellent. The way she would instruct people on what to do and how she would just quickly calm things when things got tense felt very real. The way this movie was filmed, you were limited with the number of shots you could do. What made this zoom shoot style so cool is that you could watch one character in a square going through something terrifying, but at the same time, watch the five other characters reacting to that scary scene. I just thought that that right there added something. And the scariest scenes, in my opinion, were just the lead up to the scares. It's the shots where a character would be holding their laptop or phone in front of them, investigating a strange noise in their home and the eerie quiet as all the other characters were watching this one person investigate a strange noise and they're just holding their breath all wide-eyed. So it was moments like that that had the incredibly tight tension that outdid the jump scares in my opinion. But there were a couple times when I jumped uh, when something popped out probably thanks to my face being so close to my laptop and uh, the big headphones with the big sound. Exactly why you should watch it like that too. Host had a way with toying with your emotions and I like that. There were a number of scenes that built that tension up really, really tight 
only to let the slack out and have relief wash over you. Then there'd be another tense scene and you wondered if relief was gonna come or a big scare, you just didn't know. So I admired their ability to make me feel that way. This movie had the same sort of vibes as like a paranormal activity, uh, the den, unfriended, uh, some Blair Witch thrown in there. The type of film where you're not quite sure where the scare is gonna be, so you're just scanning the screen searching for it. And I think that's great for a horror film. You know, it keeps you a little anxious on your toes and when that big scare comes I think it makes it more effective and I feel like even though it had nods to those other films that I mentioned it really was original the reasoning behind how our bad entity arrived and started stalking our characters that was clever and this movie didn't need the entire length of a feature film to be effective it didn't need an hour and a half didn't need two hours it got it all done in just 56 minutes my overall thoughts on host are it takes you on an authentic and thrilling ride and really makes you feel Feel like you're part of the action. If you have an hour to spare, I urge you to turn off all the lights, get out your laptop, turn on shutter, play this movie, and just immerse yourself into their world. And how many damn times have I said immerse in this video? I don't know, but I'm sorry. Is this the scariest movie I've ever seen? No, but it is scary. It was a lot of fun and the filmmakers should really be proud of what they created. This shows you how good a low budget straight to VOD horror movie really can be. So I will leave you with that horror fam. I'm gonna get out of here for now. Hey, thanks again for coming by watching this video, watching all my videos. I hope if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do so now and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And let's be friends to the end horror fam. You know you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the horror hack. Once again, my name is Johnny. Keep supporting horror and this has been one hack of a show.